I've missed some of the show. I was, I was outside of the room. What, what's your name? Etienne. Etienne. And you're from where? France. France. And France as well? Where are you from? From Russia. Okay. Why did you hesitate? <laughs> Oh, did you invade? <laughs> I just, I, I just feel like, I feel like the only reason why there should be any hesitation, like any, any embarrassment for the fact that she shares a nationality with a country who has recently invaded another sovereign nation, the only reason that you might be embarrassed by that. <laughs> on the front fucking line with a gun in your hand. But you weren't. Right? But you weren't. It's funny because uh, we judge. We're, as human beings, we just immediately automatically judge. It's natural. It's, you know, and I think the number one question when we meet somebody, where are you from? She's a Canada. Wow, 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 fucking, my fucking uncle fucking taught English in Ontario there. Actually, you know what's really funny is actually I met a guy in the toilet downstairs. We were taking a piss together, and, and he, uh, you, you know those Americans, they're just... They say the Canadians are friendly, but it's like... Cool it down, Texas. I literally got my dick in my hand, bro. It's not true, we were peeing, but, but we were sharing the sink. Uh, you're from Texas, is that right? Yes, sir. Was, uh, you just you call me Mister, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Matt. Matt. That's my, that's my middle name, Matt. It is. It, that, no, there's no. <laughs> it's, it's Neil Matthew Danger Robinson. <laughs> uh, and uh, and you and you live here, Matt? No. You're on vacation here. Yeah, people with your accent don't usually stick around. <laughs> Man, I know the conversation that we had in the bathroom should have been a private matter, but I would love to share it for the crowd. <laughs> uh, it, and it's, it's not even, it's just a funny thing, and it's hap it's, so, just had a, had a nice moment. You said, where are you from? I was like, Canada. And you're like, I've been to Ontario. <laughs> Actually, you said Ottawa. You're more specific. You said Ottawa. Is that right? Ottawa? Yeah, I know some places. That's cool, man. <laughs> yeah. Round of applause for Texas for knowing places. <laughs> It's just kind of funny that I've never been to Ottawa. Um, Ottawa is a city that is about 5,000 kilometers from where I grew up. It's gonna be in Texas. That's fair. In fact, now that you mention it, Matt, I think Texas is closer to Ottawa. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Matt. Um, so I, I was saying, uh, Anna, right? Anna? Anna. Uh, Russia. <laughs> what I was saying, Russia, <laughs> is that it's so funny that, you know, when we introduce ourselves and, and you get asked where you're from, people judge. And uh, when, as a Canadian, then people are like, oh, yeah, wow, well, I'm in Canada, wow, I'm so friendly, from blind. <laughs> and then when you say Russia, they're like, <laughs> Cool, I gotta go over here now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a little bit, yeah, yeah, it's a little bit sad. 
I did a show, I was an MC, I was, I was doing Ronan's job a few months ago, and, and, and before the show, I asked all the comedians, um, is there anything you want me to say about you? And this one girl, she's Russian, funny as fuck, and I said, uh, anything you want me to say? She's like, you can say anything you want, just don't tell them that I'm Russian. <laughs> and I felt that was a little bit sad, you know? Because too often we're judging people by, you know, their nationality. And I, I, I think that's wrong. I, I think that we, I, I will never judge somebody by their nationality. I'm only going to judge somebody by their personality. And I think for too long, we have done this. And I think it's about time that we stopped judging people by the color of their passport. <laughs> and I think it's about time we stopped judging people by the color of their skin. And I think it's about time we started judging people by the color of their hair, because redheads aren't real people. <laughs> Some guy in the background, yes! <laughs> Woo! I said that joke last week. I, uh, big mistake. Uh, turns out, <laughs> front row, dead center, redhead. Didn't see her, which is crazy, because she's a redhead. <laughs> After the show, uh, she just locks eyes with me and starts coming up. I was like, okay. <laughs> and uh, she's like, what you did back there, what you did, this, that is the last, as far as discrimination goes, that is the last socially acceptable form. I was like, thank you for considering it acceptable. <laughs> she's like, it's not funny because redheads, redheads are going extinct. I was like, sorry. Wait, what? And then I thought about it for a second, just a second. If all of us think about it for a second, it makes sense. And I said to her, are all redheads going extinct because redheads don't fuck redheads? <laughs> she was like, exactly. I was like, oh. And because every redheaded guy looks like your brother. She's like, yeah. I was like, I get it. <laughs> because I started to feel a little bit bad that I'm making fun of these redheads, yeah? And, and, and in my research, I discovered something sad. Yeah, uh, uh, 
they, what was that story I was going to say? <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Mm -hmm. and then, one more time. Oh, the mother, yeah, the mother's a, oh my god, my mom's in the room, I forgot. Um, yeah, no, my mother's a redhead, uh, and, um, well, there were some jokes in there. Um, <laughs> no, they're really, um, see, Dad, now you fucking threw me off, man. <laughs> I can't believe it. Dude, for the past, like, fucking four days, I've been hanging out with him. Every night, my dad's like, so, you're probably gonna make fun of me in the comedy show. <laughs> Before I came up on the stage, I was talking to the break, like, well, you're probably gonna make fun of me. So, I was like, it sounds like you want me to make fun of you, Dad. He's like, no, 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 but you probably will, right? <laughs> I would never make fun of you, Dad. <laughs> no, I love you guys dearly, and, uh, and uh, I want to. Uh, I, I really appreciate um, you guys being here, and I appreciate uh, the life that you've helped provide me. Um, and I'm going to do my best to keep things in control emotionally. <laughs> the last time we saw each other was about, uh, uh, about, uh, about a year ago, after the sort of lockdown lifted. I was in Canada recently, in September, last September. Uh, and it was very special because it's been, been a long time since I saw my family. And, and I got to one day, I got to pick up my niece and nephew from school. Uh, and that's real special because I never, I never get to see them and, and I've never done that before. And so I, I arrived at the school and, uh, and my niece used to... Uh, she, uh, as, uh, as soon as I arrived, uh, they all started saying, not it, not it. I was like, fuck it, I'll be it, you know? <laughs> step in, step up, be the cool uncle. And I was like, what's, what's the game? And, uh, and then my niece, uh, my niece said, well, you, you, you chase us, and you grab us, and you tickle us. <laughs> I was like... Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, it uh, seems a little risky. <laughs> And a few more kids join in, and a few more kids, and kids are literally coming up to me and asking me, <laughs> asking me to take, like, hey, can you tickle me? <laughs> 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 appreciate me participating in the game of Chase and Tickle. And, uh, and then so proactively, I was like, oh, I swear I'm related to one of these kids. <laughs> <laughs> Which I realize is exactly what you would say if you're pretending to be related to one of these kids. And, uh, and then she's like, oh yeah, uh, which one? And I was like, <laughs> uh, my, my niece had left the playground, uh, and uh, and she said, and I, that's the true story. Uh, she said, uh, she said, uh, 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 I don't think it's appropriate that you're tickling the children. <laughs> and so I was like, listen, lady. <laughs> Neither do I! <laughs> I wish I said, I fucking wish that I said that. Because <laughs> uh, what I actually said, uh, <laughs> I immediately regretted, uh, which was, but they were asking for it. <laughs> I really hope 
hope my niece got home okay that day. <laughs> it's crazy, I realize in Canada, you cannot touch the kids at all. I feel like in the Netherlands, the Dutch wouldn't even give a shit. <laughs> and Belgium would encourage it. 